Spy Cruiser Series 1 and we have the entire set to show you today. And we know because we're just showing you the ones of a complete set because that's what we wanted to make this video on. And let's show you them. Okay, so this is a Micro Zoo Mystery Pack. It contains one plush. This is Series 1. No word yet on a Series 2 that I have seen. Oh, and it looks like there are some ultra rare ones that you can get that are not part of the regular 20. I don't believe we have any of those that we've come across. But here on the side, you can see the 20 that you can collect. And these are really easy to collect. And we found them actually at the 99 cent store because they left Target stores a while ago. And when they were in Target stores, they were kind of in a different area and we just they weren't on our radar and when they made their way in the 99 cent store for a dollar a piece we were like well that is fun we'll go ahead and collect these and then they ended up being really cute and we ended up really liking them and we'll tell you why when we open them okay do we want to just pick them yeah and keep let's... going and taking turns picking I guess until they're all gone oh. it is a surprise we know we have the whole set but we don't know which is which all right they're divided up let's just get them all out of their boxes we These are really easy and fun to open, and then we'll show you them all. Oh, I got a narwhal! That's right, we have no duplicates. Oh, we got a normal. Ooh, got some brown. Oh, I got like, I don't know what this is. Okay, my next one. Who's it gonna be? I got this little cute dude. A cute little elephant. Oh, it's a little dinosaur. It's so cute. Oh, I got him. I hope I did the fruit thing. Oh my God, dude, I, really want. I really wanted. Whoa, I got this. We didn't catch this yet. We did. Oh, I got the flamingo. I really wanted the flamingo, but I got it. All right, guys, here they all are. We opened every single one of them. We're gonna show them all to you, and then we're gonna tell you a little bit about these and why you might like to collect them for yourself. There are so many different colors. They're just so colorful and fun. All right, so what are these micro zoos, and why do we like them? These are really cool because they're like extraordinary animals, not like cats or dogs. Yeah! They're like, yeah. Elephants and stuff. Yeah, they're like yeah. real zoo animals. Yeah. And what we really like about them is that they come with these little books. So it's a fun fact booklet. So not only do you get the collector's guide inside of here, you get an entire booklet. And it tells you about the animal that you have. So this is a goblin shark and it gives you all kinds of facts and different information and it shows you where in the world that it's found. And then it gives you more information in the back and it tells you where you can find out more about these animals. So this is the little goblin shark. We like these because they're really simple, but they are a little bit nicer quality. They do have really small bean bag feel down here with their cotton. So they're not just completely a little tiny animal. This is really nice fur. And it has so much detail. And there's detail on these. And so they're not just like a little stuffed animal of nothing. They actually tried to make these really kind of cool. And so that's one reason that we really like them. One thing I will also say about these is that I'm glad we paid just a dollar. Like they're really cute and they're fun for a dollar. But this is all they do. They're just a little plush stuffed animal. And I definitely would not have paid like four or five dollars a piece for these. So we're excited to have the whole set. It's fun to have all of them together. But they're definitely only worth a dollar to me. Next we have the ring-tailed lemur. And this one is really cute too. Here is the flamingo. We aren't going to read you all the fun fact booklet stuff just to save some time. But that is the flamingo. This next one is an aardwolf. That's interesting. I've never heard of some of these animals. But this coloring on here is really neat. So this is the aardwolf. This next one is an interesting type of cat, I guess, called a genet. I've never heard of that animal, so I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. That is so interesting. But here is this little Janet kitty. So this is a star-nosed mole. I have never actually seen a mole in my life, but there he is. They definitely got his little nose going on, don't they? Here is another type of cat, a serval. It looks like a cheetah to me. I have never heard of that kind of animal either. So this is kind of neat because 
you get a little lesson on animals when you purchase these as well. So we definitely appreciate that. And here we have a taper. I seriously don't know if I'm pronouncing all these correctly, guys. But there is the taper. Next we have an African wild dog. There he is right here. I've never heard of an African wild dog either. I guess a lot of these animals are probably from Africa. Next we have a pink fairy armadillo. Oh my gosh, I think this might be my favorite. I did not know that pink armadillos existed. I had no idea there was something like that in this world. Oh my gosh, so this is him. Oh, I love it. This one is fun. And this animal is a Sega, a Saiga, a Saga, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna have to look these up when I'm done. There is the Sega. Next we have an Okapi, or Okapi. I don't know, but here he is. Ooh, look at his bum. He's interesting. This next one is the Oxalotl. We've been seeing some Oxalotls come up lately in a lot of different kinds of toy series, but most notably the Piggy Pops we opened recently. And there's this one. It's kind of like a type of salamander. Next we have a Sloth. Oh, this one is cute. It's a green sloth. I don't know if there's truly green color sloths that look like this, but he's really cute and smiley. And this is the lovely narwhal. I love how happy the narwhal is. This is the Sumatran rhino. What the rhino looks like, I've never seen a red rhino. All right, I'm gonna attempt to pronounce this. This is the Babirusa. At least that's what I think it's called. <laughs> I'm not totally sure what kind of an animal that is, but here is the Babarusa. So this is the Gariel. I guess that's how you say it, and it's kind of a type of crocodile or alligator, I guess. This is cool. I thought it was a lizard. At least I thought it was a dinosaur. But it's yeah. really cute. It's like kind of more like a crocodile kind of creature. All right, so this one is the lizard, a flying lizard to be exact. Huh? And here is the lizard. It's super cute. This is the Hornbill Kaleo. It is a type of bird, it looks like. Look at his horn. Baby picking time! Oh my goodness, we have to pick this one of our favorites from all of these 20, but I know mine. I think I know mine. I love the flying lizard. He just offsets color, but it's surprisingly him. Really? Oh, yeah, I like really him. Pink. The white little leopard guy? Yeah. My really favorite. Okay, My what's your favorite? I'm picking that one. Okay, what one was that? Let's see, what's his name? The Sega. The Sega? Sega. Alright, so that's Aisley's favorite right there. So that's Adalia's favorite right there. This is so hard. Is it? Yeah. Well, I think I'm probably gonna go to the shark all the way down there. The goblin <laughs> shark. <laughs> yeah. This little purple shark. I wonder how they came up with the colors for these. I think they're very interesting. I'm gonna come over here to the pink fairy armadillo because it oh, really is pink in real life. I really do love it. It's him really too. a cute looking one, but I really just like that there's a pink armadillo in this world that exists. Ooh, so that is awesome. So if you want to learn more about these, you go to microzooworld.ca and you can learn about these animals even if you don't have the whole set. All right, so we hope you guys enjoyed getting to see the entire set of series one microzoos. If you have any information about series two, Go leave it on our Instagram under one of the pictures of these because we're going to have pictures of these up like always. And if you want to collect this set, don't pay more than a dollar. Go to your local 99 cent only yes. store. That's the chain that has them right now. And hopefully you'll be able to collect them as well. Okay, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Yep. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Go comment on our Instagram if you guys have a micro zoos and which one is your favorite because we love to read your yep. comments. We love your comments so much. And we will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! Hi, Toy Capaders! Have you become a member of the Toy Capade Squad yet? Click that red subscribe button and you can be an official Toy Capader. Don't forget to ding the bell and give it a big thumbs up. Follow us on Instagram for bloopers, sneak peeks, behind the scenes, and more. Thanks for watching!